Hello, and uh, here we're going to, to learn a little bit about the touch sensing library solutions that are available from ST on their uh, STM8L, STM8S and STM32 microcontrollers. There are two versions of the library. One uses RC acquisition and one uses charge transfer. The charge transfer library is uh, a little bit superior in terms of its uh, robustness and ability to have uh, proper key press detections. On uh, the table here you can see a development kit which we use to support the charge transfer library. The microcontroller that's used in this kit is STM8L152. The kit itself has uh, an array of buttons. On the left hand side of the board we have a series of touch keys. These can be touched very rapidly and you can see them displayed on the LCD panel here which key is being pressed. Across the bottom we have a slider bar and on the side we have a wheel. You see here on the display that the slider bar gives you relative coordinates but also absolute coordinates as well. It's the same for the wheel. You have relative coordinates but you can make absolute placements. There's also a button central to the wheel which you can lay out on the board as well for uh, additional functionality. The schematic layouts for these are very simple, just a, a, a few passive components outside the microcontroller. All of the intelligence is taken care of inside with a very large number of post-processing algorithms to take care of things uh, like uh, false detection, um, crosstalk between channels uh, and to make sure that the accuracy of the uh, readings on sliders and wheels is very, very stable. The development kit itself is supported by uh, a separate tool called STM Studio. The STM Studio allows you to profile your touch sensing application. You can read back all of the different registers that are manipulated and used by the touch sensing library and then you can build a profile of that into your application so you can see how the buttons really react in your application before you get to a, a final production stage. It allows you to tune the software that you're developing to be very effective before you try and deploy it.